Hello, it's Celeste here and welcome to A Crafter's Story. Um, I was about to throw this magazine away when I, I just kind of flipped through it and I saw this article about um, people collecting things and just the whole vintage, um, these are all obviously vintage items, but the whole retro look to it, it's, I just loved it and I thought, well, I'm going to keep this page um, and then I, I had a, a crazy idea and I thought, what if I was able to lift the, this image? So I did that with some tape and I hope that it's going to work again. I want to see if I can get that now. And I'll put this down, just some regular packing tape or... Um, regular you know the th the thin the thin tape which is how i started with this and this tape is super super thin and it's not being very forgiving so i'm trying to be careful with it it keeps wanting to split on me um so let's put that down there i did try it earlier uh, with a thinner tape and i got quite a nice long piece out of it um, I had to go down, come up, go back, go down again, and I, I patched it along the way here. And it comes out very sh like a shiny tape, obviously, because it's plastic, sticky tape, packaging tape, um, or gift wrap tape. So this is my tip Tuesday, guys. <laughs> I love what this this man says: to collect is to learn through the items we collect. They all have a story to tell. Isn't that nice? I like that. That's That was nice. I'm sorry that the tape went halfway over this. It would have been nice to kind of pick that up as well. But anyway, let's go just with the, the image. I think part of doing vintage art craft type things like I do with junk journaling and crafting and collecting and upcycling is to do cr pretty much what this Costco member, Farron, Farron Schultz says, um, you know, you learn from the past. It's like a little history lesson, little history lesson in your art. Okay, guys, moment of truth. <laughs> Let's see how much of this we can. Oh my gosh, look at that. We've got it all. Oh, wow. I love that. I love this here, that, that top part particularly. Wow. Okay, so the other thing that I thought... Um, now, that's a, a sort of newsprint type magazine, so it came up pretty easily. This page now is from a calendar. It's a slightly thicker paper, and I don't know, and it feels like there's a coating on this, whereas that magazine didn't, but I want this here, and I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try. Let's see if we get lucky let's see oh my gosh there we go okay guys fingers crossed holding thumbs oh i hope this comes up because i really like this little saying inspired by nature made for your heart there was another one that i wanted to pick up um somewhere even if i don't use the whole phrase i can still use the word inspired which i or inspired by nature if it's a sort of earthy type collage page Ooh. let's see nope not happening ah. Let me see if I press harder, if it'll make a difference. Gosh, I'm pressing so hard. I'm taking up, <laughs> I'm taking up the top of the tape. Okay, let's see now. No, no, oh, that's a pity. Yeah, it's not working. So these, this 
I'll keep this anyway. I'll be able to just cut that out, but it's not working on this calendar paper. It's obviously too thick and too coated. So let's go back here because I had another one that I wanted to show you. And so this magazine type, uh, oh, I've got tomatoes. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use it. <laughs> But you never know. Um, okay, so positive energy was wording that I really, really liked. So I definitely want to pull that up. And this is the, the thinner, more newspaper -y type print. Um, make it? Will I make it? No, let's do it this way. Okay. Oh, tape. That's okay. All right. So let's see. I'll give myself a little extra space so I can pull. Now, when I got this tape and I pulled it up and everything was great, um, what I didn't particularly care for was how shiny it was. And so what you can do is get out a matte gel medium and go over the tape with a matte medium and it takes away the shine. I'll show you now. Okay, let's see if I can pick this one up. I think it's, it's looking good. Yes, there we go. That worked. Okay, that's nice. I, so now we've got that. So it's definitely going to be on the thinner paper. I'm going to just work on these two. Stick that one down there. Get this one down here. Stay down. Down, down, down. Okay, so when I did my practice pieces earlier, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm going to see. I can shine my light on it. Um, that is pretty shiny. But then I put the matte medium on. And most of the shine is gone so there's the, the the one with the matte medium hardly any shine here's the one without the matte medium and there's quite a bit of shine so i don't i don't want the shine and so because a shiny object to me is doesn't have that vintage feel vintage look so I'm just going to use my matte gel, gel matte, gel mate, <laughs> medium, um, and just gently with my fingers cover the part of the tape that I want to use, which is just the positive energy part, the wording, and once that is dry it takes on quite a different feel um, oh I should have done that before oh, it's okay so there we go so that is all I'm going to do and then not let me come ahead go ahead and get this one all gelled up as well that's it you guys that's my tip Tuesday <laughs> If you see, if you have a magazine that has that sort of newspaper, or if you know what could be good, oftentimes we'll get all these um, junk mail type flyers from grocery stores or local businesses, and they always on the kind of a newsprint, um, and they will probably be perfect too. So look for words that you want to pull up and keep. Um, look for pretty pictures that you want to keep I was hoping I was hoping to pull up some of this blue graduation but it's not going to work on this so I'll just have to cut it out maybe put the tape on top um, but then it's going to be so you might think well just do that anyway you know just cut this up um, put tape on it put the matte gel medium and I could do that but it won't be as It'll be a little bulkier, so it's an option. Um, I just like the idea of this being so 
sort of it still feels like a piece of tape to me and not a piece of tape that I put on paper um, I hope I'm making some sense but and and I like the idea of it being so ripped as well so not having the entire image um, and just having almost like a a ripped look is really what I liked as well and that you won't get if you cut it out and just put the tape on top so there you go you guys that was my tip Tuesday <laughs> I hope it's something useful you can use in your crafting. All right. Well, thank you for visiting with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.